your guide to the truth. The new American Media.com. Welcome back, everybody. This is Brian Engelman. You're listening to Agree to Disagree here on the new American Media.com, part of the TNAM radio network. Please check out our homepage, the new American Media.com. On Facebook, do a search for the new American Media with spaces in between and like our page. On Twitter, we're at American underscore media underscore. And please subscribe to our YouTube.com slash the new American Media page. So I want to talk about this Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I haven't been a big Kobe fan. The whole rape thing in Colorado rubbed me the wrong way. I, I, wow, I'm sorry. Pardon the pun. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, there have been mixed opinions on this for a long time. You know, did Kobe do something or was he being extorted? Uh, all these professional athletes have got to be targets, but I don't know. Was there something to this one? <clears throat> I don't know. But this this one, I, w- I want to go over this story with you because I w- agree or disagree with Kobe Martin, uh, Kobe Martin, Kobe Bryant's comments on Trayvon Martin. So this is from HuffingtonPost.com. It says, Kobe Bryant stirs social media firestorm with controversial comments. Los Angeles Lakers star Kobe Bryant has found himself in the middle of a social media firestorm after he ruffled feathers with comments he made about the Trayvon Martin case. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like a year too late for this, but um, apparently this is news. So during an interview for a profile of the basketball star featured in the April 4th issue of The New Yorker, Bryant had some interesting thoughts on the events surrounding the case that captured national attention. According to Color Lines, he specifically criticized LeBron James and the Miami Heat for posting a photo wearing hoodies in solidarity with the teen's family. From the article, quote, I won't react to something just because I'm supposed to, because I'm an African American, he said. That argument doesn't make any sense to me. So we want to advance as a society and a culture, but say, if something happens to an African American, we immediately come to his defense? Yet you want to talk about how far we've progressed as a society. Well... We've progressed as a society, then don't jump to somebody's defense just because they're African American. You sit and you listen to the facts just like you would in any other situation, right? So I won't assert myself. But people weren't happy end quote. But people weren't happy about Brian's sentiments and they took Twitter took to Twitter to voice their opinions. News correspondent Roland Martin was among the many critics of the athlete's comments. Roland S. Martin said, remember when Jim Brown took heat for blasting Kobe Bryant? Jim knew what he was talking about. Kobe is clueless about Trayvon Martin. Wasn't that comment makes him clueless? Roland S. Martin continued, the Miami Heat didn't defend Trayvon Martin because he was black. It was the assumption of guilty due to wearing a hoodie, Kobe Bryant. The New Yorker profile mentions the Jim Brown incident Martin referred to. Now there's two Martins here. Not Trayvon Martin, Roland Martin. In December 2013, the former NFL running back said Bryant was, quote, somewhat confused about culture because he was brought up in another country. End quote. Yeah, Jim Brown's another one famous for putting some out there quotes. Bryant didn't let Brown's comments go without a response then. And then, and he didn't ignore critique. Let me start that over. Brian didn't let Brown's comments go without a response then, and he didn't ignore critiques this time around either. He took to Twitter to defend himself against accusations that he ignored the tragedy of Martin's death and was ignorant about the case. Kobe Bryant, at Kobe Bryant, said Trayvon Martin was wrong. That's my opinion, and that's what I believe the facts showed. The system did not work. Hashtag my opinion. Hashtag tweet your thoughts. <clears throat> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retweet that at American underscore media underscore. I, I mean, let's, let's break down his comments here. Not, not Jim Brown. <clears throat> not Roland Martin. Let's break down the Kobe Bryant. He says, don't jump to somebody's defense just because they're African American. You sit and you listen to the facts just like you would in any other situation, right? What's the problem here? And the, and the, and I'm I'm telling you as a as a Second Amendment supporter, 
you know, I, I have the firm belief that we all have the right to carry firearms, and we all have the right to defend our lives when, it, when they're in danger. Now, if we go put ourselves into situations and start fights, you don't have the right to defend yourself. That and because you started the, the altercation. The facts of the trial of the case, the facts seem to point to the fact that Trayvon Martin attacked George Zimmerman that night and was bashing his head into the concrete and could have killed him. And George Zimmerman took out a gun and defended himself and shot him once and killed Trayvon Martin. If that's what happened, George Zimmerman had every right to do that. And I wasn't there. Neither were you. That seems to be what the facts were showing which is why George Zimmerman was acquitted. Which is why the police did not prosecute him at the time. And they let him go home after that traumatic event. Because that was traumatic for him, too. Getting attacked like that. You start smashing heads into concrete, you could absolutely kill somebody that way. Who was it, Brian Stowe, the the San Francisco Giants fan that was, was beaten unconscious and now he's, he's permanently disabled from a Dodger fan, two Dodger fans? Or he fell to the ground and hit his head and it caused permanent damage? Now, some of you will say, well, George Zimmerman shouldn't have been following him. Why? Because there were crimes in the neighborhood? That's a fact. Why? Because he was on neighborhood watch volunteering his time to keep his neighbors and his family safe from crime? That's a fact. Was Zimmerman a cowboy? I think there's some evidence that points towards some of that. And then, of course, there was that incident after he was let out. Something with his estranged wife, where a gun may or may not have been pulled. Not good. But, I mean, absolutely, you have the right to walk through a neighborhood, and you have the right to wear a hoodie. And you have the right for a homeowner to be suspicious if there have been a lot of break-ins lately. Okay, everybody's on the same page there. What you don't have a right to do is to attack somebody, which is what the defense presented and what the jury agreed with, <clears throat> is that George Zimmerman was attacked. And you absolutely have the right to use lethal force to defend your life. If Trayvon Martin was on top of George Zimmerman, smashing his head into the skull, or smashing his skull into the concrete, rather. You, everybody, every woman, every man, every adult, every college student, everybody has the right to defend themselves. Whether you're elderly or 18, you have the right to defend yourself. Absolutely. Is 18 the age for... Or is it 21? Hey, I'm going to ask my producer. Okay, I'm the producer. Anyway, when you're of legal age to, to get a firearm, you absolutely have the right to defend yourself. And that's what... The, that, that's... That's a Second Amendment guaranteed right. That's a fact. You have the right to defend yourself. If someone initiates violence you have the right to defend yourself if you feel your life is in danger. I mean, I'm very thankful to my creator that I've never been put in a situation where it's rainy, where it's dark, where I'm, I've been attacked, and I've had my head smashed into the concrete and someone has gotten the upper hand and is on top of me, wailing on me. <clears throat> I, I, I don't... I, I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful that that's never happened to me. But I didn't understand why LeBron James and the Heat came out and did that. All wearing hoodies. And every, for a long time, you know, and I didn't form opinions on this case until I had a chance to really absorb a lot of the facts. And it is tragic. Everybody want to talk about Skittles and, and iced tea. You know, this, this is... And the media like to show this picture of, of Trayvon Martin when, I, I don't know the exact age, he looks like maybe 11 or 13 or something. A very 
angelic, baby-faced little child that everybody could relate to. This was a grown boy. How old was he? Was he 17? He was a big boy. Not the picture you saw. The picture of what he really looked like. He was a very large, tall... Yeah, he was lanky. He was a big kid. And Zimmerman, kind of fat, whatever. You know, I mean, he, he the tables were turned very quick. Zimmerman w was told, don't get out of your truck. And what did he do? He got out of his truck. And if he's guilty of a crime, or if he's guilty of something, it's getting out of the truck. It's not... I mean, getting attacked, you cannot blame a victim. You're not going to blame a rape victim for, oh, well, she was wearing a, a sexy dress. Her mom and dad told her, don't wear that dress. And she got raped. What did she expect? You would never do that in a rape case. Never do that in a rape case. Never blame the victim. And George Zerman was the victim here. He got attacked first, according to the facts. And he defended himself, which you are allowed to do. Some people say we would have a much more polite society if everybody had concealed carry. I mean, would everybody be flying off the handle all the time if everybody else had a way to defend themselves? But what Kobe Bryant said here in this, in this quote, he said you don't jump to somebody's defense just because they're African American. You sit and you listen to the facts just like you would in any other situation, right? And for the first time in a while, I'm agreeing with Kobe Bryant and I'm taking Kobe Bryant's side. I don't know. Trayvon Martin didn't commit a crime by wearing a hoodie. He committed a crime by assault. They never found that he committed a crime by burglary. If the facts as presented are the truthful facts, which I wasn't there and I'm not 100% certain on, and neither were you and neither can you be 100% certain of this either, There you are. George Zimmerman was attacked, and he defended himself. I, I don't know what the hoodie had to do with it. I know this happened in Florida. <clears throat> I know the Miami Heat play in Florida. But I, I didn't understand why LeBron James and the Heat did that in the first place. The evidence pointed toward confirming what Zimmerman's story was. I was jumped. I was knocked to the ground, and I was getting beaten senseless. And I pulled my gun, and I fired once. Which you can do if you feel your life's in danger. So the question of this is, do you agree or disagree with Kobe Bryant's statements? What do you think? So we're going to tweet it out, put it up on Facebook, put it up on YouTube. We want your comments. So once again, please follow us on Twitter at American underscore media underscore. Check out our homepage, thenewamericanmedia.com. Do a search for us on Facebook, The New American Media, with spaces in between and like our page. And subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash thenewamericanmedia. I want to talk about one more story, and this is another very interesting one. Agree or disagree that student athletes should be paid like employees what do you think I'm Brian Engelman talking about interesting stories here on TMAM radio network here at the new American media .com. your guide to the truth the new American media dot com <laughs>